Hey everybody, it's Michael Newman with Do 604 here at the Truck Stop Concert Series. I'm here with my man Chris. Buck, how you doing, man? Good, man. Thanks for having me. First of all, I gotta say you guys have had quite a year yeah. this year with uh, the CCMA's uh, award, yeah. or a nominee for nominee. the video, right? Yeah, that was a first. It's our first Canadian country music uh, nominee, and I, I honestly didn't expect it to happen. So when I found out the morning, of course, my label and everyone was, oh my God, he got nominated. So it was a pretty cool moment, yeah. So let's go back a little bit. Um, what would you say your, your music is heavily influenced by? Uh, that's a good question. I say a little bit of everything. For me, like I did, I did the bar scene for so long. I'm one of the guys who did it for years, and I played pop, I played rock, I played country. And um, when I sit down with a pen and paper, I'm like, I don't really focus on maybe one type of way of writing. I just focus on writing a good song, and however it comes out, it comes out. So yeah. I kind of leave it up to the the universe to decide that. Yeah, yeah. you're just the muse, man. Yeah. Let it come through, right? Yeah. Totally. And how long have you guys been at it now? Uh, I've I've had I started the band a decade ago. So a lot of people don't know that. They think we did it overnight. Um, we, we only have had radio success in the last year and a half, and our last four singles all charted top 40, so it's been, it's been pretty cool. That's yeah, awesome, it's been brother. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. But tell me, um, what was the moment like when you first heard your song on the radio? Like, describe to me. Yeah, it was actually uh, JRFM, uh, Vancouver Station. Uh, they played my first uh, top 40 single called Leave Your Light On, and... Uh, I wrote it with another local artist named Chad Brownlee. Uh, I, I co-wrote the song with him, and I called him up, and I'm like, man, it's so cool hearing your song on the radio for the first time. And he said to me, he's like, well, it doesn't get old, man. It, it keeps getting better. So I, I remember it was pretty cool, yeah. What do you bring to the live show? Like, why is that exciting for you? Yeah, um, we have a very high-energy country band. Um, I encourage my guys to move around a lot. We're kind of like a rock band with a banjo and a country voice, so... <laughs> You know, we're not too traditional, but we, we, we know how to get a, a crowd moving, that's for sure. 